Acting on an advice from the Constitution Implementation Commission Chair Charles Nyachai, who drew the President's attention to the effect that the entire cabinet was legally in office after 4th of March this year, President Mwai Kibaki, through the head of public service Francis Kimemia, issued a directive requiring ministers and assistant ministers who were elected into various positions to quit. But Prime Minister Raila Odinga took an exception of the directive and asked the said ministers to disregard the directive, claiming it lacked constitutional backing to warrant any regard. And today, government spokesman Mudui Kariuki reaffirmed Kimemia's position, saying the position from the cabinet office would not be reviewed. The position remains as directed by the president. The president is the head of state and government, and his directive supersedes or the others, or anybody else for that matter. He went ahead to ask the Prime Minister, as the supervisor of the government ministries, to supervise the implementation of the State House Directive. The Prime Minister is the coordinator of all ministries. That is his role. In fact, he should be coordinating uh, the resignation of all the ministers and assistant ministers and anybody else who may have been voted who are still holding on to another government position. So, are the two principles of the coalition government engaging in a battle of supremacy? No, there has been no tug of war. These people consult every other day, every now and then. The president has always been a gentleman and he has always consulted his core principles. So far, some ministers, including Assistant Minister Kabando Wakabando, are said to have heeded the president's directive and have tendered in their resignation letters. Kendagor Obadia, Citizen Live at 9.